you know, I had the opportunity to come and visit your studio, great studio, a lot of great equipment. You guys, did y'all start your podcast just audio or was it always audio and visual? And how much did you know about the podcasting world before you got even into it? Man, we didn't we didn't know anything. I'm be honest, straight up, we didn't know anything. We didn't have any idea of what equipment we needed to use. We didn't know how to record. Um, so we 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 did start with audio and visual. We just the first five episodes we never put out the visuals for us. So we did the audio and um we kind of reached out to to people to like see who could help us. And we got lucky that there was a dude in our neighborhood. Shout out to Sid, our original like producer. He has some shotgun mics, these little mics <laughs> that go on top of tables. And he was like, yo, y'all can use the mics, um, just record. And I was like, well, how do we even record? And so then I was like, all right, well, I think GarageBand records. I was like, well, we'll use that, <laughs> I bet. And then um, he brought some cameras and then we was just like, all right, let's sit down, what, what you want to talk about? We used to meet on Thursdays, remember? We used to meet on Thursdays and we were like, all right, we're going to come up with two episodes. And so, so we would shoot like two episodes every other Saturday. And so that way we would have a month of, of content. And um, after that, it was like, well, if we can't use the cameras, why don't we just use what we know that works, our phones? And so most of the first, like about 20 episodes, we was using two iPhones. And then we had another one of our partners come in, shout out to Larry. He had the third iPhone. And so now we had three different camera angles on a tabletop in my dining room, just recording, just going after it, man. This is so dope. And I, and I want to touch on this because I think you're dropping gems that I, I don't, people look at y'all where you are now. Yeah, You know, people see the success, people know the name, earn your leisure means something out here. But it's something I try to teach all the time. Y'all didn't wait to have it all figured out before you got started. And you were just using the resources you had readily available to you. In your case, it was two iPhones. Your other guy brings over one extra iPhone. You called your man, he gives a shotgun mic or two, and y'all just were off to the races and figuring this thing out as you as you were going. Can, can, can y'all speak to anybody who is sitting? Because I see people and they, they spend so much time reading and listening to podcasts and doing all of this research. And the one thing they never get around to doing is starting. And, and and I love that you guys said we didn't know anything about podcasts. We just started. Can you talk to the, the the value of just getting started? Yeah, that's the most important thing is to take the first step. I feel like, um, you know, you figure it out as you go. Of course, it's good to have some level of planning in place before you start, but um, you're never going to have it figured out all the way completely ever. Um, you're always evolving, you're always learning. Even now we learn and we are, we're evolving and we're getting better and you know, adding different things to the element. But um, it's like working out, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the first goal to lose a hundred pounds is to go to the gym one time, just to actually get in your car and go to the gym one time. And then, you know, just start from there. So I think, you know, analysis paralysis definitely um, kills a lot of dreams before they even get a chance to start. And I always look at it like, you know, what's the worst case that could happen? The worst thing that can happen is that it just, it doesn't work out. It's not like you're going to die or, you know what I'm saying? It's not like something dramatically bad will happen. If the worst comes to worst, you might lose a little bit of money. You might learn, you might learn something that could help you the next go around on the next venture. Yeah. And that's another thing too, is like, you know, this isn't the first business that we started. We've, we've had a bunch of other businesses that didn't work out. This is the first one that we started that actually has been successful. But, you know, we let, we had lessons from the other ones that have helped us for, for this one. So, um, yeah, I would say don't wait. Don't overthink things. Don't have negative, um, you know, views on the outcome before it even starts. Mm -hmm. And um, just go and just do it because you never know. You never know what could happen. Yeah, I, I would encourage people just take imperfect actions. That's like one of those things that we heard. I was like, yo, that's it, right? You, nothing's ever going to be perfect. Just go. Right. Because the beauty of it is like when people listened from the beginning and they saw us recording on our cell phones and then they see the growth to 4K cameras and they see the growth to these fancy looking mics and the nice backgrounds. It's like they feel like they've grown with us and they have because they know where we started. And so that's part of the process, too. Like these people feel attached. It's not earning leisure. Like it's not our show. It feels like it's a community show. And so that's part of it, too, man. Start where you are and, and you'll get to where you want to go.
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.